This is the grade 12 prac exam or paper one for CAT, Computer Application Technology, for November 2021, the final matric exam paper. And we are dealing with question six, the HTML question. So let's get into it. So we're dealing with the HTML, the web design question. Uh, you may not use a word processor program like Word, but you can use like Notepad++. And just a reminder, there is an HTML tag sheet right at the bottom of your paper. If you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see this tag sheet, which is available to you. So if you've got one, I would get it out to have it in front of you so you can see how to refer to those questions or to refer to the tag sheet when you are doing this question because you can use it. So then why not make use of it? So we can start off with question 6.1. We must open Open the 6.1 clean file in a web browser and an HTML editor. So what I suggest you do when I've got my files open, so there we can see the different files. I have already opened it in a browser. So I went and opened it up in this browser over here. So I've got 6.1 clean open already and then the other thing that I do is I right click on it and I go and I open it in notepad plus plus so that's the editor I've got you could use notepad as well so I've got it over here and then what I do is I drag notepad plus plus to the side so that it fills up this half and then I move the HTML file which is this one no that button there we go and I put this on the left hand side so there I can see the code make changes come here save and refresh and see how it's actually made changes to it so that's our work I like you can choose how you want to do it so let's start off with the first question the first question is 61.1 insert your examination number so that it appears in the tab of the browser so we've got our browser over here we want it to appear in the tab so that if you remember correctly is the title property and the title property must go inside of the head so I'm gonna put title over there and we must put your examination number now I don't have an examination number so I'm just gonna put in some random numbers there let's pretend that's my examination number and then close the title so remember whenever you make changes you can save and then you come over here and you refresh and you'll notice that that number now appears in the tab title so there we know we've got that one correct 6.1.2 change the font color of the heading the global crisis of plastic pollution to red so the font color so let's come over here and let's go look at the file so we want that to be red so we're going to use a font tag around uh, that h1 so let's put a font tag over here and we're going to close it before the h1 closes so we're going to put it over there so that's our open and close remember when you click on a tag in notepad plus plus if it goes purple then you know you've closed it correctly and what property we want to change the color property to red so with the the attribute you put an equal to sign and you put the attribute or the value in double quote so let's save it and see what it does and there you can see that the font is now in red next question modify the code so that the image displays okay well is the image not displaying no there's an image over there if i see there so we come over here there's an image but it's not displaying it's displaying that image now first of all this that's not a you see how that's not red so that's not a proper value it's source so that would be s r c do you see how it's gone red so we know that's a valid field so let's see that if that changes anything so I'll save and refresh okay so now it's picked up that it's an image but it's the wrong image so we want to display that image let's go back to our folders we want to display that image now I can see straight away that it's not JPG if you can't see them because your extensions aren't visible you can always right click on the the picture and go to properties and there you can see what type of file it is it's a jpg file if you want to do that or you can look at the details and see that there so if i come over here that's not a png file this is a jpg other things that could be wrong is that the spelling of the name of the file could be incorrect that's another th thing that they like to ask so let's save refresh and our picture is now clearly displayed in the place where we want it so let's go to modify the table so that it displays as shown in the image previously so this is let's go look at the image so or I assume if we look at this image that's what our table must look like and what does it look like now okay so it doesn't look like that so first of all we need to add this extra column basically or tons per year and we're going to add it to the front of it so everything else looks fine so we're going to come to the table here's the table and we want to add a whole new column in front uh, a new column so in the first row we're going to add another column so the first one is just add a new one here new td and we're going to put what is it so it's going to say what so let's look at our diagram tons per year then china then 8.7 that's what that's the order so it's tons per here and then we close that cell 
and then it's China, then it's 8.7. So we're looking at that top row. So you see that it runs like that. So let's run it. We'll save it and then see what it does when we refresh it. Okay, so we've got that. But now we want all these to shift up. So we need this to actually span over how that over multiple rows. How many rows do we want it to span over? Over three rows. So in the TD, in the cell of this tons per year, we want to say row span equals three so that this block must span over three rows if it does that it should shift all these up so let's save it and refresh it and there we go does that look like our particular little cell looks pretty close huh i think that's spot on i think it looks very close to what we want there we go so there we go let's move on to the next one okay so we've done with that one so we can save everything we've done that now let's move on to the other html file so they're giving us two files to work with now i have already put it out so there's the one we work with we're going to come over here this is the one that we're working with and i in notepad plus plus have put the other one in another tab so there we are there so we great so we can do this so what do they want us to do on 6.2 complete complete the web page to look exactly like the example below and that's all they give us one mark we allocate for correctly closing tags and correctly nesting them in in both the files okay so let's have a look so the first thing is we want let's see what's different between the two files i'm going to make this a bit smaller so we can see it compared to there so home page i'm assuming it's got a little link underneath it i'm assuming that means it's a link to the actual page that we just had and if we look here uh, we can see that there is an a tag and it must go to the ta the file that we just used um, but they obviously haven't put the correct property in there for the home page so that what's the correct property if you look at your reference sheet it's href is equal to that particular file name so if i do that and i save that and i refresh that we can see that that now becomes underlined and becomes a link to the other sheet so, so that is correct now i see something opening over here which doesn't look right so let's look at the diagram they want to put Oh, underneath the types, we want a nice little line. And, and they've just got this little part there. So obviously someone forgot to finish this little line. So we want a line, a horizontal rule. So over here, I'm going to say an HR. And we're going to make the color equal black and see what that does. If we just save that, come over here and we refresh it. So already there, we've got our nice little horizontal rule, which looks good. Next, we want to look at the, this is a numbering. So it goes one and that's a two, three, four, five. So we've got a number so that's an ordered list and after air pollution we've got an unordered list that's what we want what do we actually have well we've just got that one to nine we actually want these ones over here to be their own unordered list if you look at the diagram you can see we want them to be bullets their own unordered list so a bulleted list there's no order to them so over here i know it looks like these are all part of the order list but we're going to separate them now and go okay over here we're going to start making an unordered list and here is where we end the unordered list let's save it and refresh it and let's see what that does over here so there we go okay but if we look at the diagram here if we make this a bit bigger those are little squares do you see that so that's the type of bulleted list that it is so we're going to say this unordered list it's going to have a type which is going to equal to the word square because that's what we want it to be so if i save it now and refresh it do you see how they are now squares and uh, if we look at the diagram Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, our lead doesn't have a little list there. If you look there, they've got lead has got, it's part of the unordered list. Why is ours not part of the unordered? Ah, lead doesn't have any list items around it. So they're actually giving us a clue. They showed us how all the others look like. So we could literally, if we didn't understand it, we could just copy what they did. But we know list items. If you're looking at your tag sheet, you'll see that it's list item. So let's save that and let's go look there. So there we go. So let's look at the diagram. Are we all in a line? Does it look, got that, got that, got that. There we go. I think it's all correct. If I click on home page, it'll take me to that other page that we just used. So I'm going to go back. So we know that everything is working. I think that's all. So it was one, two, three, four, five, and five. Hmm, I count five and it's a six mark question. So that's a little bit, six marks. There must be five things. So we did one thing there. We did the horizontal rule, that's two. We did the the new unordered list, that's three. The type was four and adding lead was five. So those were the those five things. What's the sixth thing? Only thing I can see here, which they're not very clear about, but that horizontal line is quite thick. So the only thing I can think of, did you see how I double check this? I, I counted all the changes. I only came up with five. Maybe that horizontal rule must be a bit thicker. So let's go say the horizontal rule. Let's say it's size, because that's the size. Let's make it a bit thicker. Let's make it three. See what that does? 
if we save it and then we refresh it, we can see it's a bit thicker. So maybe make it a big number. I don't know. I don't, they haven't specified. So I don't think they're going to worry about what the number is. But uh, if we make it a particular number, let's make it seven to make sure that it's definitely visibly thicker than the others. Maybe that's a bit too thick, but you can play around. I think that is the sixth one. So do you see a little thing? That was sneaky because using that diagram is difficult to know exactly what they want to change. But I think that is a thick line. So we want to change the size. I think that's the sixth thing. So double check. Always count your marks. And I think we've got all the marks for the, the correct tag. So there we go. That's how I would do it. Maybe make it another, maybe a five or a four would be better, but I, they haven't specified it. So they, I think they will give you the mark irrespective of what number you use, as long as you actually have an, a thicker size shown. So there we go. I think that's done. There we go. That's the HTML question. Is that all of them? I think that's, that's the whole question. All 15 marks. There we go. Links to data files and other videos can be found in the video description. For help with theory, go to our other channel called Mr. Long Computer Terms. Click that subscribe button or follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.